No, hang on. I have to back. I'm recording. But at four days old, I had a picture of me with a basketball in the crib. You know, we shot on those little tyke hoops and hoops that go over the door. And I would take camp jerseys, we'd get all the extras, and I would sharpie the last name on the back of the jersey and run around and shoot hoops and stuff and recreate plays that some of the Spartan legends before me had when I was a little boy. I used to get in trouble because I used to pound my chest like Mo Ager did, and I would hit my chest so hard my parents would yell at me and say that I was going to potentially hurt myself. You know, it's not good for your chest to do that, but I remember just dunking on Little Tyke's hoops and acting like I was playing in that game as well. Steven emulated a lot of guys, unfortunately not with dunks. And uh, like every kid, you know, you grow up with your idols. It's just that his idols, he was able to see every day. I mean, he's named after Mateen. You know, his heart and soul has been at Michigan State since the day he was born. In high school, wasn't really having that much fun, kind of fell out of love with the game for a few months, told my parents that I didn't want to play basketball. And I told them I was fine with it, except he had to be in something. So I said, I don't care what it is. It could be from the band, to the soccer, to baseball, to cross country, just gonna be involved in a team, in an organization. He said, well, maybe I'll just come out for your team. And I said, well, I'm not taking a guy who never played in high school. So I said, I'll make you a deal. If you make your team, you can come out be a walk-on. My coach was a genius. He decided to put me at the front of the bench. I was pretty much a coach. Obviously wore the jersey, dressed up. I was one of the people that he went to and I was able to kind of have that trust of my teammates and you know have the trust of my coach. Here it comes the Dukes but then Walker takes it back. Lays it up and it's in! He just took it away from Friedel. My role on this team is really just to be positive influence on guys. You know I'm not gonna play but that doesn't mean I can't contribute in some way, shape, or form. So I usually just try to be the positive reinforcement during the games and trying to get the crowd going and make sure that they're into it. His other role is maybe more important. Be with his dad on the road and give me a chance to, uh, to really get to know my son and uh, get to see him be involved with things like his first game at Madison Square Garden. Who gets to tell their family or future kids, like, hey, I played in Madison Square Garden. Those experiences that I'm never gonna take for granted and so grateful that my dad allowed me to join the team and be able to experience that stuff. You know, running through that tunnel and seeing all the fans wave their towels is a surreal moment, something that you dream of and like, wow, this is awesome. Those are things that hopefully someday he'll have kids and me as a grandpa will be sitting there telling him what his grandpa and his dad did back in the day. But how much fun is that gonna be? Early on, a lot of pressure, you know, kind of causes a little bit of anxiety because you know that they want you to score. <laughs> Once in a while I give them the, hey, 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 it's a little early. I kind of get out there and I'm guarded like it's Michael Jordan and I'm like, dude, I'm just not that good. We can't be doing this. And there was getting to be growing pressure. Is he ever going to score? Honest to God, I don't think it mattered to him. And honest to God, I don't think it mattered to me. But I can tell you 15,000 plus people it mattered to every game. Coming off a of pick, Steven Izzo. He's breaking Ooh. to the basket. Shots away. The guys pass me around like I was the ball. The hugs that I've gotten from our guys are AJ running over and picking me up. We probably should have got a technical, but that meant more to me than you know scoring is just how they've embraced me since I was a freshman. And no one treats me like I'm the coach's kid. Heard the place erupt, and I just caught myself for a quick second. I didn't look at Steven. I looked at my team. And I looked at the rafters. There were people up in the rafters going crazy. That memory will last till the day they put me down. I don't consider myself an athlete. I consider myself a guy who plays basketball a little more than the average human. But I just think that this, this unique opportunity that I've had is you know, taught me to be accountable, be on time, being humble, 
I love to be a part of a team. It's one of the greatest experiences, I think, that, that teaches you how to work with people that have different personalities and, you know, how do you work with this person? How do you work with this person? All those things are going to benefit me in the working world. You know, our schedule is gruesome sometimes here. There's a lot of self-doubt or questioning at the beginning is, can I really do this? And I think my dad thought the same thing. When I first got here, it was more of a trial, like, let's see how the summer goes. Of course, he came to the first one, got sick, threw up all over everything because he, you know, he wasn't used to that kind of uh, dealing with guys, you know, 6'9", 250, but he hung in there with it. You know, the season came around and was fortunate that I made it through and, you know, you still have those doubts and then it's one of those things where I've taken strides of growth. <laughs> Michigan State is everything to me. Um, Obviously, I grew up in East Lansing my entire life, and not necessarily Michigan State, but East Lansing is my home. It's, uh, it's got a special place in my heart, and my dad's had a lot of success here, and fortunately, uh, we've been able to do a lot of great things here with championships and Big Ten tournament championships, national championships, Final Fours, stuff like that. Those things, I think I take more pride in those accomplishments because it's something that I'm gonna bring my kids and you know his grandkids back to tell them the stories and talk about everything that you know I got to experience as a kid. Him being on the team gives me a chance to watch and to enjoy uh, some of the things that have happened. If you know how many regrets I think a lot of coaches have that they don't get to spend the time with their kids growing up, it's not cool. What's cool is when you get to share experiences with your kids.